The next section here is about the role of government. So the policy circle briefs always structure, frame the issue as we did today in terms of the numbers. And, and then what is the role of government at the federal level, at the state level, and the role of civil society, private sector, that as we look at it today, how what is being played out. So the, at the federal level, the Treasury Department mandates is to maintain a strong economy by promoting the conditions that enable economic growth and stability at home and abroad. However, the department also acknowledges that federal agencies are not solely or even predominantly responsible for providing financial education to Americans. Instead, it recommends the federal role in financial literacy education be developing and implementing policy, encouraging research, and developing educational resources as needed, rather than trying to reach every American directly. Reaching Americans directly is really left to local communities and, and states. Um, annually, the federal government spends close to $300 million on financial literacy and education programs to educate Americans. So these activities span 23 federal agencies and entities, ranging from the Federal Deposit, Deposit Insurance Corporation's Money Smart Program to the National Credit Union Administration's Financial Literacy and Education Resource Center to Financial Literacy and Education Commission's My Money Resources. So the federal government, and there's a graph here that explains the spending on financial literacy and education. Um, that's actually really interesting and worth looking, diving into. And this is in dollars in 2017. So there's about $125 million spent on military and veterans in, in financial literacy. About 56 million that relates to housing. Uh, another 36% is basic finance, uh, 36 million around basic financial capability. 26 million on investor education. And then there's 18 million for post-secondary education, 4.7 million around K-12 education, and social security education is just 3.5 million, and non-social uh, security um, SSA retirement education is 2.2 million. So this is an interesting distribution. And um, I'd like to highlight here in, in the brief, there's, there's a few highlights about different the key agencies, and it's worth following and understanding what's being done right now. If you want to become active in this space, the, it's it's value add to actually look at what is the government actually doing and there might be programs or information that can be amplified instead of creating something from scratch. Um, Financial Literacy and Education Commission. So the Fair and Accurate Credit Transaction Act of 2003 established the Financial Literacy and Education Commission. It's called FLEC under the Department of Treasury's Office of Consumer Policy. And the commission is comprised of over 20 federal agencies from the Department of Defense and Labor to the Federal Agency Emergency Management Agency and the Small Business Administration. And it was tasked with developing a national strategy on financial education and a national financial education website that's called mymoney.gov through which consumers can access financial education tools and resources. Um, again, the question, I mean, this information is, is provided to you so that you can perhaps engage with your representative in Congress to say, well, what kind of oversight does Congress have over you know, these agencies and how effective these, these programs are would be a great topic of conversation with uh, your representative. When you say, Nicole, I mean, this is- Sure, yeah. I mean, you could take this in a lot of different directions. It would also- um, I encourage you, whether you have kids in your, your school system or not, it would be good to, to engage your board of education member about this issue to see what's going on in your school or in your district. Um, I find it alarming that just given how this uh, topic is spread throughout 23 federal agencies, as is listed here in the brief, it's clearly not a priority. And um, when I look at what is what are what are priorities for teaching our kids, um, I think uh, them being able to uh, be self-sustaining and put a roof over their head, having the tools to do that 
is something that um, is a priority. So that's my opinion here. And, and yeah. that's kind of what I gleaned from this. So really even start if, if Congress, if talking to your congressperson about this is, is um, maybe too intimidating, start with just your local community and your board of education and see what's currently on the books, understand how, how is this being taught? If it's even being taught in the school system. Yeah. And I think we'll get dive into this a little bit more later on, but yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's interesting that so much is being spanned that spans through a lot of agencies again, and, and there's not a real accountability and, and measure of the, the effectiveness to me is what I get. 